Hi everyone, continuing to look at the subject of freedom in Christ. Jesus said in the Gospel of John chapter 8, He said that if the Son sets you free, you shall be free indeed. And you know this freedom that God has for us is not just a once-off, it's not just a one-time event as it were, but it's a constant working of God in our lives. That's why we need to keep our hearts open to the ministry of the Holy Spirit, for the Holy Spirit to bring the revelation of Christ and the revelation of what He accomplished for us on the cross, that it becomes alive in us each and every day. Jesus said to Peter in Luke chapter 22, He said, Peter, I've prayed for you that your faith should not fail. And when you have returned to me, strengthen your brethren. Jesus knew that Peter would fail. So I want to focus on this aspect of how we can struggle with the fear of failure. Many Christians won't make the right decisions or the right choices. They won't obey what God desires of them simply because they've failed in the past and that still holds their life or they're afraid of failure in the future. It affects their relationships, it affects families, it affects the way they handle money, it affects their involvement in the church. We cannot live with this fear of failure. We need to be free from it. You know, it's not falling down that's the problem. It's when we stay down. That's why Jesus said to Peter, I prayed that your faith will not fail. Yes, Peter, you will fall. Yes, you will find yourself in the mud, but hey, have some faith, get up because God has got more for your life. Stumbling blocks need to become stepping stones. In other words, no matter what happens, don't look at it as a problem, as a failure, as a disaster. No, but look at it as a God-given opportunity for your faith to take hold of God, your faith to reach out to the Lord and enjoy what He has for you. And that's how we grow. You know, pride is what blocked King Saul in his repentance towards God, and pride caused him to lose everything. Yet when we look at David, when he was confronted by his failure, he repented, and his repentance brought him restoration. So I want to encourage you. You've made a mistake. You've done the wrong thing. You've said the wrong thing or wrong decision or wrong choice. You've failed. Don't wallow in it. Don't be filled with self-pity. Don't think the world is against you. Don't let pride block you, but rise up. The Bible says in Isaiah 59, the Lord's hand is not short that it cannot save. His ear is not heavy that he cannot hear. Call out to him and he will hear your heart and become more and more like Jesus. God bless you.